morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back here. Um, what we got going on here real soon is uh, our, uh, our robots that we've been putting in. We're putting two more Lely A4 robots in um, that we bought used, I think, back in November. Uh, we're almost ready to uh, start milking cows in them. So what we've done here the last few days in this whole mess of things is uh, we made about 90 straps here. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something like that. So, uh, so today what we're going to do is uh, enter them in the computer and start putting them on the cows um, so we can start pre-training. So what we will do is uh, we'll run the cows into the robot and uh, they'll just go in, they'll get some feed and uh, the robot arm will move just a little bit so they get used to the sound, get used to the feed and, uh, and the routine that way. So. Uh, so that's what uh, pre-training is. We'll be showing you a lot more uh, video of just shoving the, pushing the cows into the robot. Um, hopefully some of them just walk in, but some of them we may have to use a little force to, to get behind them and uh, actually put our shoulder into them and move them. But, uh, but they'll go in and uh, it's all part of training. So fun times. Well, today's uh, first day of pre-training. Uh, I got a couple cows in the robots. Uh, got some good help here. Max, Matthew, Ryan, and Brian. So, just bringing them in, letting them get a little feed in the feed bowl. But she doesn't seem too interested in eating. And uh, then just kicks them out. So, we'll run them through once today, maybe twice. We'll see how the whole day goes. One comes out that robot, swing the gate, get one lined up for this robot here. And then we'll get the back one filled up again also. So far the cows are going in really well. Haven't had to do a whole lot of pushing. It's right there, then once this cow exits, um, Next one will be ready to go. Even Charlotte wants to get in on the action. She's in here, she don't want to miss out on much. I think the cows are in the robot for like a two minutes or something like that. So if you can see the arm underneath here, underneath the cows moving back and forth so they get to hear the different noises of what's going on in there. So there she goes. Not too bad for first time in. We'll take that every day. Well, we pushed the cows through the robots here the third time this morning. And I come back after lunch. And both the robots are full. I hope that is a good sign of what's to come. Um, yeah, that, that is that is pretty cool seeing cows lined up ready to go into the robots. Alright, right here, uh, this cow, number 3374, just had a calf. Um, I mixed up some uh, some drench juice, which has a bunch of uh, vitamins, minerals, calcium, you name it in it. And uh, it's a good sign when they go for that bucket. Um, and drink it down after they had a calf. Um, this is actually her second bottle or second bucket. So, uh, got high hopes for this cow that uh, the calving went well and uh, she gets off to a good start. I've been doing some extracting in the three saw barn, getting some of the 
wet, dirty sand out of the back where the, uh, where the, where the udders are when they lay down. So, uh, putting fresh sand in, I got a scoop here. Um, and that way, uh, helps the melt quality if the, uh, they still lay in nice, clean, dry sand. So, got Ryan and Dad and my mom. There's mom and my Aunt Cindy behind her. So, got a pretty good crew today. Oh, here comes the flood. sand in we've been uh, getting a little bit low on sand and so when we extract and dig the backs of the freeze balls out we like to put new sand in so it just flushed so it sands extra wet now but we're going to the rest of the barn's flushing so we can get away with dumping some sand down the flue without it getting plugged. Got Ryan coming in here at the scoop, so we have to wait for him to get done. This one's come up this way. The 76 has been a good loader, but it's hard to keep it clean. and then the sort pen there, nine free stalls got extracted and cleaned out and rebedded. So we'll level things off and uh, put the cows back. Finishing leveling it out, new sand. Good evening. So what we've got going on here is side dressing corn. So I'm driving through the field in between the rows, trying not to run any over, dragging this thing behind me. It's 30, basically that's 30 foot at a time. I can follow the planter tracks. And I'm putting down about 23 gallons of fertilizer, liquid 28, an acre. So this corn is about as tall as I like to side dress it. This is some of the first, first that we planted. Uh, most of it looks pretty good. A few spots that drowned out that got replanted, but overall it looks pretty good. I don't like whenever it gets too tall and then I can't see the shades, the rows, I can't see when I go to turn around where I've already been. So I have to actually steer and count rows to know where I'm going and watch the marks. This is about as low tech as you can get. So this side dresser has a ground drive pump that you set by moving a dial. And uh, yeah, so <coughs> kind of have to guess. You kind of know after a while where, what's what, but. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So I did, did this what I've been doing today. Everybody else pretty much was working on second crop haylage. 
Uh, they got done with that about 7.30 or so, I think. And it's a little after 9 now. Uh, I got about one or two passes left, which is good because I, do, I don't like doing this in the dark because I really can't. It's, it's hard to eat. At least this tractor doesn't have real good lights. There's no lights on that applicator. And I can't see where I'm going or what I'm doing or anything. It's going wrong. Just, there's no monitors to tell me what's wrong, so I gotta keep an eye on it while trying not to run corn over. So it's a not the most relaxed job, but it's a job that's kind of fulfilling and good to get done.